Welcome back to the Hillbilly RV channel. Today we got a really exciting video for you. Um, no, not really. Um, <laughs> um, customer here, we got several things to do to this camper. I uh, don't know exactly what all I'll video, but one of the things I was going to video was he bought all new thumb locks for his compartment doors. Um, just because some of them were getting a little bit stiff. Uh, some of them are out of adjustment and he just decided he wanted to do brand new ones so uh, we're gonna be changing eight of these today he has four compartment doors two storage compartments propane compartment and the generator compartment battery whatever else is up in there um, <clears throat> so he bought all new thumb locks and the thumb locks just don't have a key um, here. the thumb locks are the ones that don't have a key they just they just turn okay so uh, uh, we're gonna we're gonna get started switching these out uh, the main thing when you're switching these things out is um, don't don't let this part turn because the this is kind of d-shaped I don't know whether it'll show up on camera or not um, but yeah, yeah, the, uh, the lock mechanism is kind of, well, not D shaped. It's got two flats on it on each side and, uh, the holes in your compartment doors are also the same shape that keeps, that keeps everything from turning when you turn, uh, um, when you turn the lock and, uh, keeps the lock from turning in the door when you turn the lock there we go finally got it out um, several things you need to watch out for is uh, this little piece right here I'll show you on a new one it comes off so you can change these locks only turn 90 degrees but you can change it you know in any way you want to change it so you can make the lock work one way you can make it work the other way it's yeah, they're just really, really super ambidextrous. So uh, let's, uh, I've already got this one out. I want to see how bad they come out. So let's, uh, let's start on this other one here and see how, see how hard it comes out. For most of these things, you're going to need a Phillips screwdriver. That'll take, that'll take the bolt off here that holds the, I don't know what that part's called. Well, this one's gonna make me struggle. It's always a struggle. Me, uh, me, my move. <clears throat> that one's really stuck. We're going to get a different screwdriver. We're going to kind of take note on which way these work too. So they go from here to, to straight down. Or you have to be straight down when the door's shut. Whenever you're working on these things, you can always guarantee everything's going to be all corroded up and uh, not on a just plain on not want to cooperate. If you're doing this yourself, it never hurts to keep a little bit of this old hardware because um, these things are notorious for if you're driving down the road, uh, you know, you, the screw will jiggle out and you might lose, you know, you might lose the screw or, or the little tab thingy that actually does the locking. So, like I say, if you're uh, doing this yourself, it uh, never hurts to keep a little bit of this old hardware. This stuff happens. Let's get this nut off this old one.
once you get the nut off the old the old lock just comes right out let's get a new one out of the package you will notice that there's usually a lot of extra stuff here We have two different sizes and shapes of the locks. The part on the back side, it actually latches. Uh, so you just determine which one you need. Our old ones were the bent ones. And they actually have quite a bit more bend than the new ones. So what that means, so we may end up just using the old ones because these new ones are just going to be the wrong configuration. So, yep. Not only are they bent completely different, but they're also a little bit longer. So, yep. We will probably end up reusing these. So, in our new lock, we get a little rubber gasket. We will go ahead and slide that on. Probably six months from now, that will be dry rotted and will have fallen off, but we're gonna put it on there anyway. And just slide our new, our new lock in here. And now this already has that, this already has that retainer on the end of it that restricts the movement. So what we'll do is we'll try our best to orient it so that it is oriented correctly before we slide it in the hole. That just means I had to rotate it 180 degrees of what I first stuck it up there to, uh, to get it oriented correctly. We'll put our new nut on. Some of these, some of these you'll find, uh, they actually have like a, a stainless steel washer here. Those are really nice. Uh, but this one does not have washers. But these are fairly well-made compartment doors too um, because they, uh, the hole where the lock goes actually has a piece of aluminum structure inside the door on both sides. So you don't have to worry about too much about crushing the door. Because these things here, you just want to snug them up uh, because you don't want to crush, you don't want to crush this door. Like I say, these are, these are pretty well made, uh, better, better than normal, I would say. So we got a new screw. We're going to reuse that lever or whatever it's called. I, I don't I wish I knew the technical term for that, but that's plain old don't. It's the little lever picky thingy on the back of the lock. We'll snug that up, make sure it works okay. It does. Let me move you guys a little bit. <clears throat> Actually, I'll just aim you down. All right, let's see how it latches. Ooh, nice and snug. Yes. Not so snug that time. Well, it's nice and snug one time, and then the next time it's not. All right. What we can do is I'll tell you. Oh, I know why. I know why it was being inconsistent now. This is loose, so I had it up on. I didn't have that. Let me show you something. So the lock and the little tab thingy have a square hole. 
and it's it's very shallow so it's kind of hard to miss it i did not have that seated well when i tightened that screw up so now it's seated better and i tighten the screw back up now let's see how it latches i'm telling you people ain't nobody perfect and i'll be the first to admit that I make mistake, mistakes, <clears throat> that I make mistakes all the time. But you just gotta fix your mistakes and just keep on going. Get stuff done. All right, let's see how it latches now. Oh, that's nice and snug. Yep, awesome. All right, well, I guess I have to do that seven more times and then uh, this part of this job will be done. See ya. Just do that seven more times and uh, this part of the job will be done and, and I'll move on to the next thing on the list. Uh, and uh, while I move on to the next thing on the list, y'all move on down there and check out all the stuff going on in the show notes. There's there, there just tons of links down there to everything, the Gmail account, the, you know, blah, 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 all that stuff. So uh, go down there and check that out. Be sure and like this video. Uh, leave me a comment, criticism, concern, and I'm going to move to the next thing on the list, and uh, y'all move on too. So we'll see you later.